Good morning, everyone. Um, I welcome you all to SciPy India 2014. This is the sixth year of uh, the annual SciPy India conference that we have been holding. The first was in 2009, and this is our sixth, 2014. Um, really happy to see a lot of, uh, I guess, new faces this time. So thank you all for coming early this morning. Um, our schedule is as follows. We first 45 minutes is uh, left for installation, <coughs> registration. Uh, registration well is supposed to be already over, but typically our tutorials are very hands-on. As in we expect you to type through as the instructor is teaching. And therefore we expect that you have the software set up. If you do not have the software set up, um, it's kind of a waste of time. Right? You can always find information on the internet. The point of the tutorial is that you type along, we lead you along a particular path, give you an exercise, and expect you to solve it. So we wanted to make sure that everybody has a software installed. So if you don't and things are not working all right, please raise your hand. A volunteer should come and help you set it up. All right. So please make sure. I think all of you have gotten the email with respect to um, uh, the installation instructions have all of how many of you have not gotten that email? You haven't been given sent an email. You, you're a spot registrant, all right? Okay, so if you're a spot registrant, you probably haven't received the email. Raise your hand, somebody will come down with a USB stick, they will set up the software for you. So, this session is primarily to make sure everybody <coughs> has the software set up, and the next session will start at 10 15, um, 10 15, roughly 10 15. So, we if Everybody is installed, we might start a bit so 15 minutes before. So by 10 o'clock, make sure everybody is in their seats. And then we will start with IPython. So all of the, the, um, the way in which these tutorials for today are organized is to get you started. We did a survey of many of the people who are taking the tutorial this time. And we found that more than 50% are either beginners or they never used Python before. And so what we're trying to do is to give you material in a graduated fashion. So we'll start you with the first tool that we all tend to use. Whether we are advanced developers or we're beginners, we tend to use something called IPython. So Prashant will first talk about IPython. He will show you the various features, introductory features. We, want, we, will, we will follow the 80-20 rule. We'll teach you the 20% of the tool that you're going to use 80% of the time. We're not going to teach you 80% of the tools that you're going to use only 20% of the time. So we're going to teach you as much as we can that you're going to find useful in your day-to-day -day use of Python as a data analysis tool. So we'll first teach you IPython. Many of you must have already heard of it. If you haven't, Prashant will talk about it in some detail. And then we will start with an introduction to data analysis with Python. So we will start off with no assumptions regarding your ability to program in Python. We do not expect that you have a knowledge of programming Python. We'll gradually introduce you through NumPy, basics of SciPy, and also basic Python programming. And then, um, so we'll have a session that's uh, titled Basic NumPy plus Matplotlib, which will show you how to make plots, maybe read some data files. Um, and then we'll move on to more NumPy and SciPy. And then after that, we'll uh, kind of flip it around and actually teach you the basics of Python syntax. We will only introduce the syntax in passing during the first three sessions. As in, we're not going to say, here is the data type, this is how you write an if. That's the boring way of teaching programming. We're going to teach you programming from the ground up. We're going to basically say, start doing work. And then the language is like, it comes, it follows. It's like how you learn how to speak at home, right? Nobody teaches you Ren and Martin grammar when you're born. They teach you by immersing you in an environment. So we're trying to take that approach. And so in the evening, after you've done all of this, um, around 4.15, Dhruv will give you an overview of the language. So if you really want to know, okay, what are the details of the language, how do you do an if, how do you, and it'll recap some of the concepts you've learned through the day. We will end the session with Mayavi, um, about an hour or 45 minutes introduction to Mayavi, basic plotting. Um, and then tomorrow, there'll be a series of advanced tutorials okay, by several people. We'll come to that tomorrow. Um, and the day after that, there will be full-fledged talks, which will first start with uh, the keynote by Romain. Um, and the day after that, we will have um, 
sprints. So those of you who are interested in sprints, please tell the organizers if you're interested. Um, we are very pleased with us. Uh, we are very pleased with uh, uh, the turnout this year, and we are also extremely happy to have Romain with us. Um, Romain has flown in from France, and he's a PyPy developer. Um, uh, he's uh, here with us, and he'll be with us until the sprint. So until ninth, he's uh, until tenth, he's here. So I think he'll be happy to meet anyone during the conference and outside the conference as well. Um, can we please have a round of applause for? Uh, Um, there are a lot of people involved behind the scenes. Um, a lot of the people are sitting at the registration desk right now. So the FOSI organizers are the guys who are organizing this. Um, you'll see them around wearing the organizers. If you have any issues, you can contact them. All right. So thank you very much. Uh, welcome once again to SciPy India. Please make sure that you have the software working up and running. If you do not, please raise your hands. Thank you.